frame is just a fungi like this. It's just a fungi coins. Oh, let's get more into the frame here, like in the center of the frame. Here we are. Um, today, I just got back from a friend's house, and his father was a banker, and he had a pretty neat coin collection. I went over there to take a look at the coin collection, and the cool part is, I got to keep a few things. I, uh, the most exciting thing I'm going to do at the end of the video is do a wheat scent on Rowan. He said I could have these wheat scents, and supposedly there are 61 in here. This is jam-packed pretty full, so I'm not sure how many are in there, I don't care to count, but... It's, I have not unrolled these wheat scents to see what's inside of them. And I also got to keep some quarters and a few oddities. So with that being said, I am going to turn this camera around and uh, fix it so I can show you what's here. Okay, I first want to show you the silver quarters. This silver quarter is from 1958. Let's see if I can get the focus. 1958, 1953, 1945. This is the oldest silver quarter. I think it says 1943 on it. This is going back to just when when the uh, Washington quarters were just a few years old. 1955. This quarter is from 1955. Yeah, it is. This one is a beautiful quarter from 1964. It's so shiny, it looks like a brand new one. And this one is from 1962. Let's get my penny book because the first penny. Oh, shoot. book. I'm getting my penny book out because I have a penny here from 1925. It's a wheat scent. It's actually a uh, cool toned wheat scent. It's got like a red, reddish tone to it. You won't be able to see it on camera, but do I have a 1925 point? I do. And this one isn't necessarily a placer. But it's just got a cool tone to it, and I was wondering if I had a 1925, so... The next stack of coins are some more... I think I have more quarters here. This quarter is from 1964, so it is the last year of silver quarter. 64. A quarter from 63. Let's see, did I... Oh, yes, I have a few that are not silver, but are actually quite cool. I just dropped one. This quarter looks like it was just like... Maybe like shot with a BB or somebody tried to drill something through it. You can see the holes in it, even when it's out of focus. See if we get this into focus. Probably can't get it into focus, but it's got some holes. Then I have a a uh, celeb it's a milestone quarter from Canada, celebrating Canada's 100th anniversary. And this one is from Italy. It is from 19. Let's see. 19. I thought that said 56, but that actually says 36. And it's from Italy. Those are my non silver coins. I'm not sure if the, uh, this one is silver or not, but it doesn't look like it. And then now for the fun part doing an unrolling of these. Alright, I got my trusty cutting board here, made in woodshop. 
and it's time to unroll these pizzas. There's definitely more than 50 in here. Let's take a look at the first one. Nine. What does that say? Nineteen twenty three, I think this says. There is a smudge mark or like a one out with I wanna say that's a three or five. So night uh, so one thing I'm gonna do is add it to my book. Do I have a nineteen twenty three? No I don't. And I think this is a 1923 coin. I think it's three or five. I'm, I'm gonna go with five on this one. How about this one? Of course, I have to go to my right here. 1944. Next one is a 44. Next few fifty six and forty six. So far, common dates I have. Let's grab this handful here. Take a look at these. See if I can at least add one to my book. Something or other. Nineteen twenty. What did I say? I need like a magnifying glass or something to take a look at it. But it's a nineteen twenty D or an S. So this one I will put not in the book yet, but just like in the full of the book. And I'm gonna put his to the side here. And now I have a bunch more to go through. Let's see. Seven, fifties, fifties. A lot from the 1950s. Seven, eight. The oldest one I found in this one was in 1934. I have a 34 plane. It doesn't have a print mark. Uh, no, it does not. What are these two? Two from the 40s. So far, all common. Nothing to add on my book. Again. Grab a few more. Six. Nineteen twenty. I found a nineteen twenty plane, and a nineteen twenty plane. I already have, but is it a replacer from the 1920 plane that I have? That's the question. Wait a minute, is that a 1920 or a 1930? That's a two. I already have a 1920. So that'll just go into my root sense. 40s. Oh, 
Let's take a look at this final hand over oh, here. By a steel set. By a steel set. Alright. Whoa, it's a 1919, but it's real beat up. This one's a 1919, but it's really rough around the edges. Let's see, 51, 6. We got that one. Let's see. I. This is nineteen ten. I found the oldest one of the wheat sensor that's a nineteen ten. Do I have a nineteen I do have a nineteen ten. And this one is not a replacer. So far I only have one to add to my book and that's Pretty cool. Also, not to mention the fact I have another steel scent. And if I actually had a magnet up here, I could show you it's a steel scent by uh, putting it to the magnet, but if you put it with the rest of them, you know what a steel scent looks like if you know what you're looking for. So let's add this one to my collection, and this one is a 1920 I want to say. But I will add to it later because I need a magnifying glass to see it. Well, those were all the coins, and I am super happy to add them to my collection. So, with that being said, my name is Just a Fun Guy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and hit that bell icon. Email me, follow me on my social media, all that stuff is down below. Now that being said, I'm signing off. So long, YouTube.